Okay, so we're here at the Coliseum. We were gonna do the ticket because those signs, there's signs right over there that tell you if you buy a ticket for 16 euros, you can do the Coliseum and then there's two other sites like the site behind me and then another site that you have access to for 24 hours. Coming in here, there's lots of vendors selling stuff. There's lots of tour guides trying to hustle you. And when you're standing over there trying to read that information, they're just coming up trying to talk to you. And, and at first it appears they're trying to be very helpful, but the, the sign says 16 euros. But when I asked the man how much it cost to go in, because we don't want to do a tour, um, he said it would be 35 euros. So automatically they've doubled the price on us. And I don't know how they do that. I mean, I'm telling you, one of the biggest frustrations in, in Europe, not only having to pay to use a restroom, but it's this, they keep adding fees and adding fees and adding fees to things. So nothing is the price. And I don't, and they do it with Airbnbs. They're doing it now with these things. And I don't know if the guy was trying to stick us in a tour group. Like you have these groups of people congregating and then they can go in at certain hours. Um, and then they have timed entry, so I don't know. I don't know how to work. I went on their website, I came over here, and there's some more boards right there, and I tried to figure out a little bit more information. I went on their website. Their website is extremely confusing, not user-friendly at all, too much information, and you can't just find how to buy the tickets. So we're just not gonna do it. So we'll look at the outside, and then we're gonna walk around Rome, see some of the outside of some of these buildings. And then we'll go back to the hotel, and then tomorrow we're planning on going to the Vatican and the Sistine Chapel. So hopefully that'll work out better. It won't be as confusing. There won't be anybody trying to hustle us, and we'll have a better experience. However, that's still pretty epic. Like I said, we get to Tunisia. There's a Colosseum in Tunisia. It would be less people, um, less um, crowds. Tickets are a lot less expensive, maybe just a dollar or two a piece. And we'll be able to have the Coliseum experience there. So that's our that's our experience at the Coliseum in Rome. And it's a shame because um, we really want to do these cultural experiences, but just like in Pisa, where they're charging you 80 euros to go in their museums, it's, it's insanity. It's totally, totally insane, the prices. But you can see all these people are doing it. So there's no incentive for them to not do it, you know, not try to take advantage of you. So anyway, on to the next thing. Let's go see if we can see the other buildings in Rome and see what we encounter there.